Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm creating a card using the Mammoth Love by Mama Elephant and this time it's a love card. Uh, so first of all there are like two tiny mammoths that are looking towards each other so that's really handy for a love themed card. Um, I am going to do some new line coloring, so I am stamping them out using antique linen onto Stratmore Bristol Smooth. So um, the idea behind this card was really simple, so just these two that are looking towards each other. Uh, and with the new line coloring I prefer keeping my cards really really simple. Now because I have done a lot of just uh, a gradient uh, ink blending uh, on the background I decided that I was going to create a really really simple scene uh, behind these two so that I wouldn't distract from them because when you're doing no line coloring with distress inks or with any medium uh, I think there is a lot of time going into it uh, and it's really precious um, that's the idea behind it I think um, and then when you are adding too much to your card it often can distract from all the work you put into coloring your critters your images on that card and I just think that's a shame so I prefer keeping my cards really simple when I did no line coloring uh, just to give them the space to shine uh, without being overwhelmed by other elements on the card but that's just my preference. Uh, you can definitely add a lot on the background, um, but so far I'm I'm not there yet. I'm like I'm loving the simple uh, designs, uh, but you can also do simple designs with some scenery. So that was what I am going to do today. Uh, so I'm really just coloring in these mammoths. Um, I want sort of to have the light source in between them. Uh, I'm not going to add a light source on the card, but I just want their both heads to have a really light, uh, fluffy look. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. So the light for this one is sort of coming from the right. The other one will have a light source on the left. And this way, when they looked at each other, it seems like the light source is just in between them. Maybe the love between both mammoths, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but that was the idea. Okay, uh, so I'm just adding layers and layers until I'm happy. If you have an image that has a quite large surface, like uh, the belly or the back of the mammoth uh, is quite large and you're only adding uh, at the edges, sometimes you can really have a big contrast, just all white in the middle and then a lot of color on the outside. Then I dilute my ink on my acrylic block and just add a bit of that softer color on the belly and just make sure that it's all blended out fine and that's what I do. Uh, of course you can also leave it white uh, if you like the contrast that's just perfectly fine. Uh, but if you don't like it that's a way to solve it without um, having a lot of color going on there where you don't really want it to. Don't know if that's really clear, but um, <laughs> just trying, <laughs> trying to explain what I want to say. Um, so yeah, my first mammoth is almost done. It actually went quite quickly, and then because I had a lot of shading on uh, the head as well as behind the head, I just decided to add a bit of this walnut stain, uh, just after the head, so that there was a bit more contrast even between the both parts of this lovely critter but normally I would have stick to one color of course uh, but I just had the idea that it wasn't going to work out with that one color so then you just add dark one or a color that fits perfectly with the idea in your head it's not like you have to stick to one color of course something that I like doing uh, but it's not necessary um, so yeah on to the other one, um, this time it's a greyish brown that I'm using, um, the brushed quarter, no, is it frayed burlap? Yeah, sorry, I just checked 
a frayed burlap for this one which is a color that I'm not using often but actually it is really cute <laughs> so I, I will try to use it more often yes uh, <laughs> it's this way that we figure out whether colors are what we like or not so I like this one um, so yeah I'm just going to finish this mammoth uh, I am also going to stamp out some hearts there are some gorgeous hearts in this stamp set I really like uh, the shape of these hearts there are a lot of ways to create hearts but I really like this one um, and I colored them in also no line coloring uh, but then I realized that there weren't any dyes for these hearts so I tried to fussy cut them but I wasn't too happy with it. They are just too tiny for me to have the result that I want for now. I think I will have to exercise fuzzy cutting a bit more uh, before I will be able to do that properly, I think. Um, so I'm not using them in the end, uh, but I really like the color. So if you are a great fuzzy cutter or you have other hearts that you want to use and you would love to use these colors, I really, really love the color that I used on the hearts being abandoned coral so yeah it's just a suggestion of course <laughs> um, but that's what I'm also going to color and I will not use it in the end okay so now I will put on some music and I will be back after everything is colored and everything is die cut <laughs> Okay, so now everything is cut out. I have two A2 size panels. These are from Stratmore Bristol Smooth, the same paper as I use for the images. And I'm going to first ink blend my sky, which is really simple. I'm just using the cracked pistachio and the evergreen ball. These colors work perfectly together. I think they are so bright. Uh, I love the cracked pistachio. It's one of my favorite colors from the Distress ink. Um, From the distressing yes um, mine was a bit dry I think so I have been re-inking it um, it's such a wonderful color and it works perfectly together with the evergreen ball then I have my second A2 size panel and I'm going to cut out the snow 
capped mountains from that one um, and then I will also do some ink blending on there and I also want those caps to be white later on so I'm just cutting everything out all at once So for the caps I am using weathered wood, which is a really soft grey. Um, and I'm just doing a bit of a gradient, I don't want a lot of colours on there, I really want this card to be soft. With a little scenery at the back, but not distracting. So I'm doing a gradient and I want the bottom to stay white, because I'm going to do some heat embossing the sentiment on there and it will also be the grounding for the mammoths to stand on so I don't want it to be grey all at the bottom. So here I wanted to show you a little trick so you can poke out these caps but if you don't find anything to poke it out with and you have your purple tape still a bit on there you can just use your purple tape to lift it out of the caps which was really quick this time because I often need to really search for my I think I use needles uh, to poke everything out so this way I didn't have to do the searching so that was handy. I'm adding these caps using some liquid glue and then I'm going to trim off the excess with my paper trimmer Now I'm going to add some details onto the background. So it is a love theme card and I just don't want it to be too boring. So I decided to take my Ink on Tree liquid pixie dust and I'm going to splatter it on the sky. Don't want it to be anywhere else. So I'm just adding it to my mat from Waffle Flowers and I'm going to splatter it all across the sky. And then I can put this one aside to dry and focus on the sentiment. So the sentiment therefore I'm using my Versamar clear embossing ink and I will be adding the classic gold embossing powder from Nuvo. And then it's time to assemble my cards. So first of all I'm going to add these mountains and therefore I'm using the Big Mama Foam Tape Roll by Simons & Stamp. It's a huge roll with a thin amount of, uh, with a thin foam tape on there. Um, it's really handy if you want to add a bit of dimension but not want to go overboard. Um, so I like adding it when I'm using thin foam squares for my critters, but I also want my scene be lifted. Um, this way there isn't that much bulk, so that's handy for mailing. And with a craft knife you can easily peel off the backings. Uh, without I really struggle, but the craft knife helps me really well. And then I'm going to align it as straight as possible. And this way we have our adorable, cute but soft scenery behind our two mammoths. So these two I'm going to add with some thin foam squares. I really really love them <laughs> from Scrapbook Adhesive. They are wonderful. 
um, and I'm trying to place them sort of centered, looking towards each other, really cute. And then I will take my little things from Lucy's cards, the droplets, blossom hearts, to add a few hearts on there. If there were dice, I would have used the hearts from the stamp set, but because I wasn't really happy with how I fussy cut it, I just went to my backup plan, being the droplets. So I'm adding three above, and then I will also add one behind the sentiment. And once they are on there, I am going to take my stickles. I have the diamond stickles. I don't have any other so I'm always using this one uh, but I'm going to add it to the stitching details on the snow caps uh, on the mountains to finish off this card and then I will be adding this panel onto a card base and it will be finished I really had a lot of fun creating this card it went quite quickly although I did no line coloring just because of the simplicity of the background uh, but I really like uh, the idea of having a really soft scenery going on behind them uh, so I hope that you enjoyed this video as well and that you also like the entry zones if you do you can always give this one a thumbs up I would truly appreciate that if you are new to my channel you can always subscribe and click to that notification bell then you will never miss a video of me uh, and there are a lot of videos and I still have so much to share with you. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm doing that as quickly as possible. So I hope that you have a wonderful day left. Uh, maybe some crafting going on there. I hope so. Uh, and I will see you back next time. Bye! <music>